Hello everybody, welcome back to my channels and today I'm going to show you the uh, 124 scale Lamborghini Aventador SBJ. Now I'm not sure who made this, <laughs> I have no clue, this is uh, how AliExpress do, they always put it in the uh, phone box and took out all the original packaging which is stupid. I don't know why they always do that, I mean how much are you going to save on a, you know, the packaging and delivery cost. But hey ho, that's how they do it, so here we are. I paid for about £20 uh, with the uh, AliExpress vouchers for luckily I got it for £5 off which is a really good deal so I decided to get it. So I ended up paying only about £15 really. But uh, it's not bad, I mean I always wanted SVJ in my collection um, but um, this one has SVJ on the uh, back here but uh, in my remote control car, Rasta 114 scale, it doesn't have this one, it's missing somehow. So in reality, I think they do have an SVJ logo at the back here, but uh, I don't know why Rasta missed it out. But considering the, this is 124 scale from the surface, it does look not too bad. I mean, I have to say. It does come with another uh, color as well, which is the uh, matte uh, black color with the uh, red interior, which is also not too bad. Now. I'm quite surprised to say that, that even interior is painted, you know, it's like I can see the uh, sound of white line on the seat and also in center console is painted even though the paint is not properly done, you know, there's little hit and miss but I'm not really fussing about it. Uh, if I open the door, there is also the uh, little bit of uh, silver painted uh, brake disc and not brake disc, I mean brake pad and accelerator um, so yeah not too bad for 124 skill and on the front it's okay I mean the, I do see the white LED light but the um, the rest all the little details are missing you know um, you got you can see that a little LED light here and also at the back there uh, you do have a wine paint uh, tail light but uh, actually just translucent part actually Exhaust pipe are painted as well and also so is a you know all the diffuser and a gold painted here which is nice. Bridges and calipers are again it's just a plastic with painted around but they, they don't actually move with the actual uh, wheel. Uh, front wheel do turn uh, but it doesn't link with the steering wheel whatsoever. There is a slight sort of suspension ish going on in the front but um, yeah, I don't feel like a decent suspension, it's just okay. And uh, at the back, uh, it does say that it is officially licensed by Lamborghini. And then the company that made is an MSC. I'm not sure who the hell is that mean, you know, who made this. And there is a little battery compartment and a speaker here. I mean, I'm not really sure what is the whole purpose of it. All I can do is you turn on the thing and then you don't hear anything until you open the front door and to a full mode and you can see that the blue LED light inside there will lit up and also on the uh, front head will lit up and also the uh, the back will lit up just for a few seconds really I mean I just don't understand why it's the whole purpose of putting speakers and wiring and battery compartments, switches and all these things all the extra weight for no reason just for making a couple of sounds you know why don't you make this one at least like uh, keep the light on for a while you know like at least five you know ten seconds or something like that and then switch it off by itself and that would be ideal isn't it I don't understand what is the whole purpose of this battery compartment and all this stuff it doesn't really do anything really um, yeah, so uh, engine detail is okay. Uh, if you look at it, there it does seem to have a decent depth in there, and I don't know why you have red pieces in here, but it does make you feel a little bit, you know, colorful, a bit depth in the uh, see through the uh, little glass panel. And the carbon fiber effects are not too bad, I have to say, considering it's a 124 scale. And the front glass is a bit foggy and there is uh, some dust inside there as well which is kind of annoying and I'm gonna have to use the, uh, some kind of earbuds to clean it I suppose later on. Yeah so there we are so if I compare with the uh, Buago version of this I mean you can see the front head is absolutely nothing here at least you got some Y shape here which is not too bad 
and the side mirror is more realistic in this uh, SVJ but the, uh, the typical SV version the side mirrors are a bit bigger um, so and also there is no brake disc and caliper on the Buago version um, yeah and uh, yeah the back it seems to be I think the Buago seems a little bit better because of the uh, the way it's actually laid out uh, in here just a paint surface so here is a little bit depth on it at least um, but um, overall I would say this car is not too bad but uh, still nothing gonna beat this uh, double horse version of this I mean this is absolute you know the, the best 124 skills ever and everything here is uh, just like a 118 skill the bridges and calipers are decent and uh, you can see big and you know uh, around and also suspensions there you got glass as well uh, opening part for pretty much all of those and the back here the plastic on the um, you know brake lights are also decent so I say this is a double horse is still the best out of all the um, Lamborghini that I have in 124 scale but nevertheless this is not too bad but better than you are go I would say Anyway, thanks for watching and do check it out on AliExpress and you know, they do have quite a lot of these little cars around in die cars. So if you like it and just go for it, you know, they're not that expensive anyway, so what can go wrong really? Um, yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.